So Autodesk just released an update and the update is for Sketchbook Pro and in this update there is a new feature called Predictive Stroke. Uh, predictive Stroke is about 10 times better than the Steady Stroke feature and I can't tell you why but I can probably show you. Just a review on Steady Stroke, it's a wand that you just drag around the canvas. Pretty cool. I mean, it has its applications. On the other hand, I think that a corrective feature was more of what I was expecting when I originally bought the program. So, and that's what that's what predictive does. So I'll show you exactly what it does. So you're just trying to slowly draw a nice straight line and it can be some of the some of the things you can draw with this are absolutely hypnotic and I'll show you exactly what I mean in a minute so you just draw this shaky little line and it automatically just straightens it out for you and even seems to up or uh, it even seems to take care of the uh, I, don't, I don't know what you would call it the trend the uh, how gradual the pressure is on your brush. You can see that that's really cool. I also read that you can just draw a perfect circle with it and it's pretty true. So I, I'd say that that's pretty pretty perfect considering what I'm actually drawing and what it's processing to. Keep in mind I do have the settings all the way up so if I turn them all the way down to the first level here it still straightens it out a little bit, but it's not as good as the top. I mean, the feature is really, really cool. You can draw some really, really cool stuff with it. That is incredible, really. So moving along to my favorite feature, the symmetry feature. Like I said, you can draw some absolutely hypnotic things with this um, if you just wanted to draw like some sort of a spiral. I mean, look how smooth that is. You know, try to freehand that. It's not happening. Try to freehand this. I might do that one again. Yeah, I'll do that again, but that still looked really cool. Starting really light, adding pressure, adding pressure, and it just, it comes out almost perfect. I barely even want to clear that. Let me try to add another color in there. But you can see what I mean as you can do some pretty hypnotic stuff with this feature. And this is, this is effortless. I have zero. <laughs> absolutely zero artistic ability. Let's see what happens when I do this. Yeah, that is pretty cool. It takes a minute when you draw bigger objects, but it does uh, correct it after a moment. So I wonder, so you can draw like a complex object or a complex design. I don't know what you want to I'm just moving the pen in random directions. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I just want to see what would happen. I see that it kind of just snaps into place at the end. The best thing is that you can go as slow as you want. I want to see how it responds to this. Interesting. Really cool. Great feature. Exactly what I expected from Autodesk. I could do this forever, honestly. 
but you know let you give it a shot so again this is a symmetry tool and I have it set to 16 and I'm using the predictive stroke feature and uh, all the way set up are set up to 5 and you can do some pretty cool stuff with that I was just messing around just drawing a bunch of circles before and it just um, somehow just came out looking just like some insane insane looking artwork this will take a minute you can see that it's frozen right now if I try to draw something, nothing happens because it's trying to process a bigger image. It actually takes a minute. That is pretty neat pretty neat feature definitely worth the money I'll tell you that much and free updates yeah I'll take it I didn't have to buy the new one I just got it with my year subscription and I think I spent um, yeah it was like 21 bucks that I spent on the year subscription I think it might be a little bit more now but still totally worth it even at 30 so yeah that is the predictive stroke feature and um, if you have any questions or comments, suggestions, anything, leave it in the comment section, and I will get back to you. Thanks.